The Secretary of Defense and his top aides made speeches and handed out awards when the department's top auditor announced that the Marine Corps had successfully accounted for all the money it received and spent in 2012, marking a key milestone in the Pentagon's quest to meet a congressionally imposed deadline for becoming fully auditable by 2017. But the self-congratulations turned into embarrassment when a new report came out and said, like, yes, what? We don't know where $1 billion dollars are. Now, once again, we see <laughs> that the Pentagon is not being able to tell the public where are they spending over $500 billion dollars a year. Now, this is only $1 billion, but that does not account, and it's a concept that I really, really like, all the weapons and all the equipment that gets sent as aid overseas, and we never know where it really ends. So really, they do make the numbers match, and is the case in this story, they put them out, they present and say, look at us, we're doing a great job. One year later, another external, external audit comes and say, hey, guys, external I think you, audit. external, not, not only OMB, that. OMB, but external External audit, audit was uh, hired as a watchdog. They put out this audit of, the, of their numbers and they said, yeah, yeah, this is good. Now we learn that they were pressured, this audit company, external company that was paid $32 million to make sure that the numbers were correct, they were pressured to put this report saying, give the stamp of approval, where they, bear, they were very reluctant to do so because they were like, no, the numbers are not matching. Well, you make them match. Right. I mean, you're seen as anti-American if you're not for a robust military budget for whatever reason. You know, it was my understanding, Jose, that the sequestration in 2014, early 2015, was supposed to somehow cap um, the budget and stop this from happening, but it clearly didn't. Um, One billion missing or unaccounted for you know, that speaks to such an issue here. You know, if we don't even know where the money's going, how much does Congress know to appropriate, first of all? Then I mean, alone, just pull well, it out of there. What if we start talking about black budgets and secret operations that are not accounted in this public budget, that it's obvious that are happening, that are, that are not part of this $500 billion a year, that still we don't know what money. But I think the public interest in knowing exactly how Pentagon is spending their money comes from a new generation of Americans that have faced themselves different situations at home. After the 2008 crisis, I think many Americans start questioning, where, my, where is my money? Mm -hmm. Where is what is happening? Why, why don't I have money to pay for the things that I need to pay? Where are my taxes? Where are my taxes going? Mm -hmm. And they're starting to be more critical about the spending of the Pentagon, this, the amount of, that we spend on the military industrial complex, on defense, and all these wars that we've been maybe 10, 15 years in the same war that creates a new terrorist group that call for a new war and we keep throwing money there and not even they can't even give us a clean bill and say this is exactly where we spend the money. Mm -hmm. No, I'm with you. It's it's very frustrating. 500 billion the annual, annual budget that Congress appropriated for our military projects, DOD and the Pentagon as a whole. We don't need to forget though that in and this number military, navy, Air Force, they all encompass, there are a lot of people that they employ, which are good people, that are hardworking people, that deserve a paycheck to feed their families. We're not talking about that. We're talking about this unaccounted money that nobody mm -hmm. seems to know where it goes, and yet they, they continue to send um, another bill to Congress to pass in our appropriations more defense spending. That's that's the catch for me. It is, it is. And I, I agree with you that it's important that the, you know, there's, there's job creation, there's people being employed by the Pentagon, but at the same time, we do need to know that they're just not giving out the money and giving out aid without really being We're judicious about Humvees tracking. that are worth 100000 exactly. each behind when we leave somewhere that our enemies end up... Arming ISIS with the things that we just don't know where they are. You Oops. know, we lost them. Oops. And, you know, we send cash of weapons in different countries and they're like, oh, we don't really know where they are. <laughs> well, and then on top of that, you don't know where one billion dollars are. And that's kind of this, you know, even that is kind of murky because now we know that the company that was hired to do the audit was pressured to approve this audit before they were comfortable with. So we want to know how you feel about this situation. Let us know your thoughts below. And please, if you haven't, subscribe to the Lib TV too.